Welcome back to a new video in the Raspberry Pi series. In this video we will have a look at the SenseHead output node. To start I will give you guys an overview of what we will achieve in this tutorial. So we can set the color of a specific pixel. We can clear the entire screen. We can draw an entire column to a different color. We can even set a square. Or, which is the coolest feature, we can display a text and scroll it across our screen. So to get started we need to first drag our node into our node red and we will have a look at the documentation. So the first thing we want to have a look at is the color of an individual pixel where you can see the format which you need to specify in order to set the color of one pixel. The first task is to set one single pixel to red. Since we only need to send a string, we can easily use just an inject node. So we delete the topic and we want the payload to be a string. And here we type 4,4, red. So this is going to be the pixel at index 4,4, which is going to have the color red. If we inject that, we can see that the appropriate pixel has now the color red. So in the next step, I would like to figure out where our 0, 0 point is. So for that, we will just set 0, 0 to blue. So we copy our inject node, set 0, 0, blue. If we deploy and inject that, we can see that the LED in the top left corner has turned blue. So after we have set our pixels, we would also like to be able to clear our screen. So if you have another look at the documentation, we can see an example on how to apply something to every single pixel. And we can also see that we can use the keyword off to shut those LEDs off. So we will use another inject node. And the command for this is going to be star, comma, star, comma, off. Now if we deploy and inject that, we can see that our LEDs, which were previously set, get erased. The next feature is setting an entire row or a column. So if you go to the documentation again, we can see that we can use a star in each one of those. So we could, for example, set 4, comma, star, comma, blue which will set the column at index 4 to all blue. And now if we deploy and inject that, we can see that we get a blue line across our screen. And we can obviously also delete this entire row. Next thing are pixel ranges. This allows us to select a specific range of pixels. So we can, for example, set a square of pixels to green. So what we do here is we will set a square in the middle of our board to green. That's going to be 3 to 4, comma, 3 to 4, comma, green. And if we deploy and inject that, we can see that our screen displays exactly what you wanted. The last feature is text or scrolling text to be specific. If you go to the documentation, we can read all about it. So we need to send a text in the message.payload. And if we want it to be scrolling, it needs to be more than one character. But if you want to scroll one character, you need to make sure that you leave a space on the end. So we will try that out here. Let's use another inject node. And we will set just the character A. So as you can see, our screen just displays an A. Now let's make it scroll. So I'll just add a space behind the A. And we can see that our text is scrolling across the screen. The last thing we do is we want to add a color. 
So we can set the msg.color property and you can just use a hex value here. If we deploy and inject, we get a red A that is moving across our screen. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you could learn something.